I honestly seen it and was like, whoa, this is not cute. Um, I get where you were trying to go. I, you didn't go there. You didn't get there. You took the bus. They dropped off at the wrong stop because, uh -uh, I'm not feeling that at all. What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Brandon. Make sure that I like and subscribe button. Follow me on all my social medias right here and down in the description below. And let's get straight into this week's video. In this video, I'm going to be giving my opinions on the best and the worst dress outfits of Coachella 2019. If you don't know what Coachella is, Coachella is a festival where people go and um listen to music, I guess. I don't even know. I guess it's a lot of people go to Coachella for the hype and half of the time people don't even go for the music. So I know you guys are probably sitting there like, what makes me qualified to judge these outfits? Nothing, honestly, nothing. But I'm gonna do it anyways because I consider myself kind of stylish. So I'm gonna give my opinion. I'm gonna give a disclaimer before I start because y'all love to drag me in my comments. Whatever I say in this video is my opinion, okay? You're entitled to your opinion, to each its own. You can give your opinion, I can give my opinion. But I say you might not agree with, that's okay. That's life. We agree to disagree. If you agree with anything I say, you know, you can write put it down in the comments below. If you don't agree with anything I say, oh well, period. So for some of these outfits, I got people's day ones, day twos, and their day threes outfits. But for some people, I don't have their day ones outfits. But yeah, I'm gonna get straight into the video. Like I said, I'm gonna stop talking and let's get straight into it. I'm gonna slide over this way so the pictures can be like right there. So I'm not in the way of anything. I'm gonna be looking at them on my computer right here and giving my honest opinion. First up are the Dolan twins, okay. Um, I don't know which twin is which, so I'm gonna say left twin and right twin. But left twin has one black tank with the black cargo pants. I love this, this is um, this is amazing to me. I love this outfit. I love the little teal turquoise, I don't even know what that is, a strap, strap vest top thing. I don't know, he has on the, um, the Louis Vuitton belt, that's cute too. The bracelet toy, that's cute as well, nice accent. But I love his outfit, his outfit, I'm gonna give it like a, I'm not gonna rate them, but his outfit's cute. We have right twin. He has on something really plain and basic. He has on the Louis Vuitton pants, I think. Let me zoom in. Yeah, those are cute too. I like those. I like, I kind of, I think they're kind of like trying to match a little bit because this kind of like blue in his pants as well. I don't know. The white tank, which is kind of plain too. I mean, it's Coachella. I guess people try to go out and beyond for the outfits, but that one's kind of plain and basic, which is not bad to be plain and basic, but it's regular, nothing special. I can see you wearing that on the street every day. But left twin is honestly, um, I love it. I live for that one. Right twin, eh, it's okay. So for the Dolan twins day two outfits, I'm gonna do once again, left twin, right twin, don't know which one's which. For the left twin, he has on a, I call them Jesus pants. They're like white Jesus pants. Um, I like this too, I really love that. I like the, the oversized button up with like the, I don't even know what print that is, but I really like that. I enjoy that. I like the white shoes, once again. It's kind of like, it's plain, but it's looking really clean and minimalistic. I really like that. And for the right twin, we have some white shorts with, once again, this button up. I don't know what print that is either, which kind of, their, their, their outfits coordinate, which is super cute. I really like that. I enjoy that. It's really cute. I like his leg tattoo. I know that has nothing to do with his outfit, but it's super cute too. Bitch. He has on, I think, some white Stan Smiths which are kind of dirty. I like dirty. When people have like dirty shoes on to me, it gives it a personality. So I get both these outfits. Both of these outfits are super cute to me. They they did really good on that one. Go, go, go off. Next up is Emma Chamberlain's day one outfit. And I'm not, I don't, it's, re it's regular. I'm not gonna say I don't like it because it's nothing really interesting about it. The pants, they're okay. The top looks like she got it from Paxlon. It's super regular. The glasses look like she got them from Paxlon. Super regular. Um, it's just a basic outfit. I wish I had more like where her shoes were, but she didn't post anything else with it. So it's okay to me. Nothing special, nothing spectacular. I like the little pink bow in her hair. I give it a pop of color. Different, we stand. Mm. It's okay. Yeah. Mm. On to the next. Okay, Emma Chamberlain's day two outfit. This was beautiful to me. I love this. The pants, the bralette with the choker, with the red glasses to pop off the red in the pants. This was cute. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. I love the straight hair. It was really nice. And one, she, she, I've never really found her to be that, um, I don't really find a lot of good in. Um, what am I gonna say this? I love this for her. The pants, they're kind of high-waisted with the black bralette, with the red glasses, gold choker. This is cute. I love this stand. We go off. We love this. Love that for you. 
Next, we have the infamous James Charles with the all black um, bodysuit. I don't even know what this is. Um, this is different. It's very James Charles, I guess. What can I even say about this? I don't have a front view picture. I don't know what the front looks like, but from the back, he has his ass out, okay. Um, I think he photoshopped his ass. You can see the zipper is kind of bent. And I know James' ass does not look like that, sorry, period. His ass does not look like that. I, I, I honestly feel like it's Coachella. I don't like how he wore all black because, you know, like as you can see the, the little tower thing in the background, it's colorful. Everybody else has one like vibrant colors, whites, yellows, oranges, and he has one all black, which I don't like very much. I don't like the gloves either. They're very big and I feel like he looks hot to me. Like he looks like he's sweating. Not a fan of the boots. I don't know, this outfit, it's, I can't see the front. It just looks very hot. It looks very overwhelming to compare to everyone else. It looks like he has a lot on. Even though he's showing a lot of skin, it looks like he has too much on. Okay, now next on to James Charles day two outfit. This is super cute to me. I love this. Like I said, it's different. It's it looks clean. It looks like he's where he's supposed to be. He has on a still like a lot, but it looks less. It's white. It looks clean. It looks like he's at the right function. The last one looks like he was going to a gay funeral. This one looks like he's going to gay heaven. Once again, his ass looks super huge. I don't even know if that is his ass. You know, Facetune does wonders. But the boots I love. I live for the boots. Um, I like the little strings with the little um, utility type style. That's what I'm going to call it. This is super cute. I don't know what the front looks like once again. I guess he was going for the ass looks. But it's cute. It's a 10 for me. Oh, I didn't notice that. His makeup too. I love how he has one like this. Which this is traditional James Charles. He does the same makeup look all the time. No shade or anything. But this makeup look, I love it. I love how it's got the little ombre of the rainbow colors. And he has all the all white. It's like, it kind of pops it all together. We love that. We love that for you, James. Go off. Next person is Denzel Dion. I love these braids on Denzel. Like, compared to his high top fade, these braids look amazing on him. I love the braids with the little beads, giving me very Hurricane Chris. We can go off, we stand that too. Now let's move on to the outfit. I'm gonna have to say I don't like it. Um, I guess I, I, I understand he's going for the 90s look. Okay. One, I'm a big fan of having your denims match. I don't like how his denims do not match. I don't like that at all. I don't like how oversized his shorts are. They're kind of going into pants. I I like how they're backwards, that's cute. I like the, the plain black bell. Um, the bag is throwing it off for me because it doesn't seem like a bag that would go with the outfit. If he had maybe like a duffel bag or anything else, I don't know, this bag is very, it's a very feminine bag and it doesn't really go with the masculine type outfit that he has on. I don't like that. I don't like how thick the freaking socks are. They look like pirate sock boots with the black boots. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm not living for this. He looks like, you know, on Penny Proud, the Penny Proud family, they had the the blue sisters. He looks like Big Blue Sister. I'm gonna put the picture wherever, but he looks like Big Blue. And I'm not feeling that one. I like the glasses though. The glasses are cute, Denzel. Go off. Next, we're going to Denzel's day two outfit. I live for this. This is actually really cute to me. I like the braids. Once again, I love the glasses. I like the the Ed Harding shirt. That's really cute with the bag. See, the bag matches the aesthetic in this outfit. I like how he has the little tight sleeve armbands one with the necklaces. He looks kind of hot though. Like, the, I'm. I don't know what the weather is, but I think it's in like the desert or something like that. And I know it's kind of warm and he has on um, a lot of clothes. I like the pants too. I like the cargo denims. Once again, this is very, this, this isn't even 90s. This is early 2000s. Like I'm going to say like 2001s, 2004s. This one is cute. I love this one. Next is Nikita Dragon for her day one outfit. Nikita, she, she, she can do no wrong to me. She looks so good. I love this. this I stand her in this. Only thing I will say is that I, the outfit, I think is latex. I'm pretty sure it's latex. And you know, latex sweats. You don't breathe in latex. Your body does not breathe. You get sweaty, you get muggy. And like I said, I think it's hot there. I think it's really hot. But I really like this little Chanel latex outfit. I like how it's a two piece. Her boobs look amazing like always. Her body looks amazing like always. I could have did without the one sleeve. I don't really, I'm not really too fond of that. I don't know, it's a love hate thing. I kind of like it, I kind of don't like it when I stare at it more. When it comes to her hair, her hair looks stunning. I like how it goes from the purple to the blue, then it fades into the green to go like blend into her outfit. Although I don't think that it really goes with the outfit. I don't know. I kind of wish that maybe she could have did a green to match the outfit. I don't like how the purple is kind of random because her makeup also doesn't have any purple in it. So I guess it's supposed to be a pop of color, but it doesn't really go 
with what she has on. But she looks good. Now for Nikita's day two look. She still has on the same hair, which is okay. I mean, it's Nikita. I would expect her to change. I don't know. That's just me. She has on these kind of cowboy chaps, which are super cute. I love those. I like the little pump heels with the little bralette thing. She's giving me very Old Town Road vibes. I like... I really like this. Once again, her hair is throwing it off for me because it doesn't match. If she would have had a plain black hair, that would have been really cute to me. I don't like the hair though with the outfit. It's kind of throwing me off because nothing else is tying it in. It looks really random. You feel me? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with anything I'm saying. And for Nikita's day three outfit, love it, live it. I stand for it. This is super cute. Once again, giving me Old Town Road vibes with the little hat, with the fringes, with the chaps, with the denim, with the gloves, with the this is cute. I give this a 10 all the way. I don't know what type of shoe she has on. I like how her wig is blonde. It ties in the outfit. If she had on that colorful wig, once again, I would have dragged her for it because it does not go and it would have threw the whole thing off. This looks amazing. I love for this. Nikita, go off. She did her thing. This is cute. We stand. Next up is Verena. Next up is Verena in this all green outfit. Um, I love Verena. I watch all her videos. If you ever Verena, go off. But... This looks like something you literally, you just took things and was like, oh, they're all green, I'm gonna wear them. I don't like her hair. I don't like how she has a little two red pieces in her hair. When she did it, I was honestly like, Marina, baby. Mm -mm. Her shirt is very simple. Her shorts are very simple. I get. I think this is her first Coachella. Maybe she didn't get the memo, but bitch, you go all out or you go home. And this was not all out. She has those little Converse shoes on. Uh, hey. I'm not feeling it. I don't even like how she has a little blue armband on. That doesn't go at all. I guess... I don't like this. Sorry, Verena. Baby girl, this is a no for me. Now for Verena's day two outfit, she has on the all red, kind of the utility pants, cargoes, with the red crop top, with the little... I don't know what type of bag that is. I gotta see. With the fire red bag, with the little chain on the hook. I kind of like this. Once again, I don't know how hot it was there, but I feel like she looks really like she's gonna be sweating through her ass all day. And... I, once again, I don't like her hair. I don't like how she has the pink or red things in her head. They don't go. They don't match to me. I like the white shoes. Like I said, I love white shoes. I don't know. She didn't do it for me this time. Uh, I didn't. Uh, hmm. Next. Next up, we have Liza. Liza looks so good. I love the boots. I love the outfit. I'm, I'm actually shocked this is Liza because I wouldn't even see her wearing anything like this. But this is super cute. Let me zoom in. I love how she's on the little car with the little shorts. Like, this looks like she's where she's supposed to be. Even though she has on the all black, she has on the, the, um, what's that thing called? She has on the iridescent boots with the little silver things in her shorts. This looks amazing. I love this. She looks so good. Her body looks nice. I like the car. The car looks good, too. Like, taking the picture on the car was a good move because that looks really good. Next up is, I don't know if you guys may know him, um, his name is OK Dion. He has one of the all white minimalistic. This is my type of style. This is it. I love this. It looks so clean. He looks good. It looks, and it's like, it's so pressed. It's so put together. This is somebody that knows what they're doing. You know what you're doing. This looks really good. I like how he has the little bag, which goes with the outfit. If you want to wear the bag, make sure it goes. He has on the white, I think those are clear boots. Yeah, he has on the, the clear smoke boots with the press, with the with baton shirt, with the choker. Heaven, this is it. This looks like you're go off. But yeah, I I live for this. I, wear, I will wear this myself, honestly, because this is super cute. Next up is Bretman Rock. Okay, Bretman posted this. He is very iconic. We love Bretman. He wore this, the most iconic outfit of them all, showing a lot of skin. Um, it was very well put together. We love it. And it's going to be right here. Bretman, he posted a picture saying that he didn't wear anything. Like, I'm knowing Bretman, I'm, I'm, I'm sure he probably did just walk around just like that. I'm not sure if this is the actual first day outfit, but I'm going to put that up there. Um, if he did wear this, that's a bold move. Bremen has a nice body, so this is very nice. Let's say I have the nude underwear on. It's cute to me. We're going to go to the next one because I don't even know if this is day one outfit for sure. But next. Once again, Bremen has on all black. He's honestly making it work. Like I said, James, it, it just looked it hot. It looked it dusty. But Bremen, he looks very nice. He has on the... Um, what is this? You guys know that thing that latches down. I don't know, but this is cute. I love the silver in it. I like how it has on the pants with the little, I think they're Chelsea boots. With the little boots, 
thing tied around your waist. I don't know what the jacket is for. Maybe you have the jacket on, but like I said, it's hot as fuck. I think it's hot. So this is cute. I like the hat, like the glasses. I love the earrings. And I'm trying to do people that I know and recognize because it was a lot of, um, it lacked diversity, if you know what I mean. There wasn't a lot of diverse people there. Then I was trying to find like some people like maybe, you know, diverse group of people to choose from, but there wasn't that. It was kind of hard to pick people, but anyways. Next up is Antonio Garza. Okay, I love Antonio Garza so much. She looks fucking stunning. She has on this kind of blue sky um, mural painting type shirt on, which is really cute. Um, if I can see, I think she has on a, she has on a bedazzle belt with some denim pants or shorts or jeans, whatever that is. She has on a Chanel choker over the top. I don't like that, don't put clothes. I don't like how she has a jewelry over her neck because there's already something on your neck. You need to put something else over your neck. It kind of just is too much. But her makeup looks stunning, like always. She looks really good. Next we have Ricky Thompson. First look for Ricky Thompson. I am disappointed. I don't like this at all. I don't like the pants. They are way too big for me. I don't like the crop top. I like the braids. Like I said, I love the braids. I don't like the shoes. I didn't like this at all. When I seen it, I was like, oh, Ricky. Like, I like his style, but this was not for me. I didn't like this at all. I didn't even know. Mm. Next. So for Ricky's day two outfit, I love this. I love Ricky's day two outfit. I like the shoes. He has on Skechers, but go off Skechers. They're really cute. I like the pants. I like the little net tank top with the braids and the bun with the glasses. This is really cute for me. He should have wore this for his day one outfit, honestly, because this is, it's bright, it's colorful. It looks like he's at the right place. I really like this. This is cute. Next up is Chanel Jeffries. This is cute too. Chanel looks really good. I don't know if that's a, those are pants, but that's a skirt. I think it's a skirt. Yeah, I think it's a skirt. Her makeup looks nice. She has on minimalistic makeup with a little yellow cross tank crop top. Her stomach is showing, but it looks nice. The skirt, I like the little jacket thing she has over her arms. It's colorful. That kind of ties in with the yellow. She looks really good. See, this is what, when I think of Coachella, this is what I expect. This looks really good. This is what, when I think this is what I see. She looks good. Our next person is Joey Graceffa with his day one outfit. I love this. This is honestly something that I would wear. I like the, the distressed shorts with the checkerboard bands, with the little see-through shirt with the stars and the little things on it, with the little visor head. This is cute. I love this. I like the bag. It kind of throws it together with the glasses on the hoop. This is everything to me. I like this outfit a lot. And I used to be really obsessed with Joey Graceffa, so this is really satisfying to me that he looks really good for his day one outfit. And for his day two outfit, once again, I love it. This is something that I would wear too with little pink shorts with the see-through little, I'm gonna call it a champagne pink type net see-through shirt with the bandana over your neck, glasses, go off. Joey Graceffa did a really good job. I love this, looks amazing. Outfit looks amazing. Next person we have is Jade. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, so I'm not even gonna try and butcher it, but I don't. I'm not feeling this at all. I like the boots, the boots are super cute. I don't like the outfit. I don't like the little arm wolf things on your sleeve. I don't like the bag, your makeup, you look washed out. I don't like this. I'm not trying to come for her really hard or anything. I'm sorry, y'all. You look washed out. I don't like the outfit. It looks a mess. It, I, I honestly seen it and was like, whoa, this is not cute. Um, I get where you were trying to go. I, you didn't go there. You didn't get there. You took the bus, they dropped you off at the wrong stop because Mm -mm. I'm not feeling that at all. Next up is Ava Jules for her day one outfit. Some of these people, I think this is their first time at Coachella, so I guess they don't get the memo, but this is very regular. This is very everyday Ava Jules. Um, the shorts are cute though. Like, And what I like about Ava Jules is her body is so regular. You know, a lot of girls, they try to enhance what they look like, but Ava Jules, she posts exactly what she looks like and it looks really good on her. I like how she doesn't try to face tune her ass. She doesn't try to face tune her titties. She's like a natural beauty. I like this though. I like how she has a little headband on to match her top. It's very regular, very, it's not really over the top Coachella to me, but it's cute. Now for Ava Jules' second look, I love how she has a little pink, little tennis skirt on with the tank, with the armlet over her arm. It's kind of regular once in a while. I mean, I don't know. I guess it's, it might not be regular. This one is not as regular as the last outfit, but this one is really cute. I like this a lot. Next up is Haley Fam or Fam. I don't know how to pronounce her name either, but I love this too. I love it. Just an oversized graphic tee on with the pink fanny pack, with the pink shoes, with the pink glasses, with the pink headband, with the pink little thing around your wrist. This really impressed me. I seen this. I was like, girl, go off. This is a cute outfit. If I was a female, this is something that I would wear because this is cute, simple, looks clean. You look like you're 
And she's kind of, she's not really showing a lot of skin. She's showing her legs and her arms, but it looks so well put together and looks so clean. And so I, I, I really appreciate this outfit. It's really cute. Love that for her. You look really good. Then for her day two outfit, she has on this, I think it's leopard print. I can't even see it. It's either cheetah or leopard print with these little boots with the hat. This is kind of cute too. It's giving me kind of Indiana Jones vibes. I really like this, I like the hat. I don't know what her makeup looks like. I like the bag too. Once again, make the bag go with your outfit. This is cute. I like the belt. I like the little arm, the little bracelet things. That's a trend that's been going on. The little bracelet things in your arms go off. We stand that. And yeah. Okay, I, I don't know if this is it, but I wanted to put this in here because I really enjoyed this outfit. This is Cole Kerrigan. Cole Kerrigan. When I first seen it, I initially thought it was a female, but as I looked hard, I realized it's not. And I went to his page. This is a guy. I really love the outfit. I love how he has the neon zip tank with the biker shorts with the, I don't even know what to call that over his pants, but that's really cute. With the pack on the side, the glasses. It kind of looks like Amber Rose, honestly. I thought it was Amber Rose when I first seen it, but this is really cute. I really appreciate his outfit. This is for his day one outfit. Love this. Period. And for his day two outfit, he has on kind of what James Charles had on. I don't like this. I don't know why. I don't like that all black Tomb Raider type look. It's not cute to me at all. I kind of like the shorts with the links on the leg. I don't, this is, that's, that's okay. I'm not in love with it. I like the little utility vest. But his last outfit was very stunning. We love that. Go off. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below any outfits that you liked or disliked. Let me know also what you think was the best outfit of today. In my opinion, the best outfit of today was Haley Fom in her white day one outfit with the white shirt with the pink fanny pack. That was stunning to me. I loved it. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree. That is the end of this video. It was kind of hard finding people that were kind of, I was trying to find a diverse group of people, but not a lot of diverse people went to Coachella. Sorry, sorry, not sorry, I had to say it. Like, subscribe, follow me on all my social medias. And yeah, and I'll see you guys in my next upload. God damn it, I missed it.